and this is the Music History Today podcast for September 23rd. On today's show, John Lennon and Steely Dan both release classics and Bob Marley performs for the final time. First up, though, on this date in 1945, the first Cavalcade of Jazz concert was held in Chicago at Wrigley Field. In 1952, Hank Williams Sr. recorded the song Caliga. In 1953, the Spaniels recorded their song Good Night, Sweetheart, Good Night. In 1968, the Beatles started work on their song Happiness is a Warm Gun. In 1969, the first Paul McCartney is Dead rumor was published in the newspapers. In 1973, Elvis Presley recorded the song I Miss You. In 1979, Crosby, Stills & Nash, Bonnie Raitt, and Jackson Brown all performed at a No Nukes rally in New York City. In 1980, Bob Marley performed in concert for the final time. It was at the Stanley Theater in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. In 1992, Jackson Brown was accused of beating his then-girlfriend, actress Daryl Hannah. In 1998, Sarah McLaughlin held her first Lilith Fair concert in Europe, playing at the Royal Albert Hall in London, England. And in 2012, singer-songwriter Cheryl Moana Marie married actor Antonio Sabato Jr. In theater in 1974, the revival of the musical Gypsy opened on Broadway. And in award ceremonies that were held on September 23rd in 1998, Elvis Presley was inducted into the Country Music Hall of Fame. And that same exact day, Garth Brooks won big at the Country Music Association Awards. And in 2022, Elton John was awarded the United States National Humanities Medal by President Joe Biden. Albums that were released on September 23rd include in 1963 when the Beach Boys released Surfer Girl. In 1965, the Easy Beats released Easy. In 1969, the Temptations released Puzzle People. Diana Ross and the Supremes and the Temptations released Together. And Isaac Hayes released Hot Buttered Soul. In 1970, the Allman Brothers Band released Idlewild South and Santana released Abraxas. In 1976, The Who released The Story of The Who. In 1977, Steely Dan released their classic album Asia, or Aja, depending on how you pronounce it. Also on that same day, The Carpenters released Passage, Randy Newman released Little Criminals, The Stranglers released No More Heroes, And the Rolling Stones released Love You Live. In 1978, Blondie released Parallel Lines. In 1981, Frank Zappa released You Are What You Is. Tommy Two-Tone released Tommy Two-Tone 2. And The Opposition released Breaking the Silence. In 1982, Billy Joel released The Nylon Curtain, another classic album. In 1985, 10,000 Maniacs released The Wishing Chair and The Fall released This Nation Saving Grace. In 1986, Boston released their popular album, Third Stage. In 1989, Poco released Legacy. In 1990, The Human League released Romantic. In 1996, John Parrish and Polly Jean Harvey released Dance Hall at Laos Point. Iron Maiden released Best of the Beast. And Fat Boy Slim released Better Living Through Chemistry. In 1997, Jan Arden released Happy. Asia released Live in Osaka. Sarah Brightman released Time to Say Goodbye. Jackson Brown released The Next Voice You Hear, The Best of Jackson Brown. Cream released Those Were the Days. Todd Rundgren released With a Twist. Three Dog Night released 20 Greatest Hits. And John Waite released When You Were Mine. In 2003, OutKast released their Grammy Award-winning album, Speaker Box, The Love Below. Also in 2003, Alice Cooper released The Eyes of Alice Cooper. The Jim Blossoms released 20th Century Masters, The Millennium Collection, The Best of the Jim Blossoms. Limp Bizkit released Results May Vary. The Yardbirds released Live Blues Wailing, July 64. Elvis Costello released North. Aretha Franklin released So Damn Happy, Joni Mitchell released the complete Geffen recordings, and Triumph released live at the US Festival. In 2008, the Little River Band released We Call It Christmas, and Jackson Brown released Time the Conqueror. In 2014, John Mellencamp released Plain Spoken, and Tony Bennett with Lady Gaga released Cheek to Cheek. And in 2016, Frank Zappa released Zappa Light. 
Singles that were released in the UK on September 23rd include in 1966 when Pinkerton's Assorted Colors released Magic Rocking Horse. In 1977, The Clash released Complete Control and The Commodores did a twofer. They released Brick House and Sweet Love. And in 1997, Third Eye Blind released Semi-Charmed Life. Meanwhile, in America, in 1966, the Rolling Stones released Have You Seen Your Mother, Baby, Standing in the Shadow. In 1968, the Monkees released Porpoise Song. In 1969, the Marvelettes released That's How Heartaches Are Made. In 1972, 10CC released Donna. In 1973, Jim Croce released I Got a Name. In 1974, John Lennon released one of his biggest hits, Whatever Gets You Through the Night. In 1977, Linda Ronstant released It's So Easy, and David Bowie released Heroes. In 1986, Billy Idol released To Be a Lover, and The Pretenders released Don't Get Me Wrong. And in 1996, Counting Crows released Angel of the Silences. Before we go any further, we'd like to tell you that there is now a Music History In-Depth podcast where we go more in-depth on a few of the events that happen in music history for that particular week. The Music History In-Depth podcast runs every Tuesday on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts from, as does our Music Halls of Fame podcast, which talks about a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame along with other Music Halls of Fame, museums, and walks of fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday and can also be found on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to this podcast. Artists who were born on September 23rd include a couple of Rock and Roll Hall of Famers. First up, the legendary Bruce Springsteen. Second up, the genius Ray Charles. Also, saxophonist John Coltrane, producer Jermaine Dupri, Eric Michael Estrada of O-Town, singer Annie DeFranco, country music singer Willie Jones, Ryan Seaman of Falling in Reverse, rapper Jay Dean, Natalie Horler of Cascada, opera composer Vincenzo Bellini, rapper Lequan Lin of Wanna One, Jerry Corbetta of Sugarloaf, Neil Smith of the Alice Cooper Band, Singer Paul Peterson, John Banks of the Mercy Beats, jazz musician Les McCann, Ron Bushy of Iron Butterfly, singer Julio Iglesias, Steve Boone of the Love and Spoonful, Lazy Bone of Bone Thugs and Harmony, Red of Another Bad Creation, guitarist Roy Buchanan, keyboardist Tony Hymas, pianist Don Grolnick, guitarist Dan Toller, drummer Virgil Howe, rapper J.I., not to be confused with T.I., of course, singer Deno Driz, rapper Chef G, singer Yugi, D-Rock, the executioner of the group Body Count, and singer Key. Artists who unfortunately passed away on September 23rd include composer Francesco Passerini, who passed away in 1694 at the age of 57. Composer Vincenzo Bellini, who we spoke about very recently, passed away in 1835 on his 33rd birthday. Opera singer Maria Malibran passed away in 1836 at the age of 28. Composer Richard Stevens passed away in 1837 at the age of 80. Composer Carol Roma passed away in 1937 at the age of 68. Composer Elmer Dictonius passed away in 1961 at the age of 65. Singer and actor Borville passed away from Collar's Syndrome in 1970 at the age of 53. Composer Manuel Borgugno passed away in 1973 at the age of 89. Robbie McIntosh of the Average White Band passed away from drug issues in 1974 at the age of 24. Country music singer Jimmy Wakeley passed away from heart issues in 1982 at the age of 68. Composer Anatoly Novikov passed away in 1984 at the age of 87. Country music singer O.B. McClinton passed away in 1987 at the age of 47. Pianist Louis Kentner passed away in 1987 at the age of 87. Composer Arwell Hughes passed away in 1988 at the age of 79. 
Singer Dalton Reed passed away from heart issues in 1994 at the age of 42. Pianist Booker T. Laurie passed away in 1995 at the age of 81. Opera singer Dennis Dowling passed away in 1996 at the age of 86. Singer Andre Hayes passed away in 2004 at the age of 53. Country music singer Roy Drusky passed away in 2004 at the age of 74. Film composer Sir Malcolm Arnold passed away in 2006 at the age of 84. Blues guitarist Edda Baker passed away in 2006 at the age of 93. Gospel music singer Marcel Adams passed away in 2014 at the age of 100. Singer Charles Bradley passed away in 2017 at the age of 69. Robert Hunter of the Grateful Dead passed away in 2019 at the age of 78. Singer Juliet Greco passed away in 2020 at the age of 93. Sun Records session drummer Fluke Holland passed away in 2020 at the age of 85. Country music singer Sue Thompson passed away in 2021 at the age of 96. Saxophonist Pee Wee Ellis passed away in 2021 at the age of 80. Pianist and composer Francois Gloreau passed away in 2023 at the age of 91. And singer-songwriter Terry Kirkman of the group The Association passed away in 2023 at the age of 83. Next on the Music History Today podcast, it is September 24th, when in 1991, three of the greatest 90s albums were released. Nirvana's Nevermind, Red Hot Chili Peppers' Blood Sugar Sex Magic, and A Tribe Called Quest's Low End Theory. <laughs> 